Welcome back to Waffle TV, sponsored by West Bear. I'm Ross Jennings, and this afternoon I'm with Jen and Ella from In Real Life. How are you guys doing today? Really good. Good, yeah, enjoying the sun. Yeah. Very good. Now tell us about your show this year at the Fringe. Um, well, it started um, with a story um, okay. of one of our company members, and it's based on her true experience. Yep. And um, where she basically found herself stalking online her lesbian crush. So it all came from that, really, and we've come together <laughs> and written it together. Yes. Um, and it's turned out to be quite funny. Um, and yeah. Intentionally funny. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> to take a positive, funny yeah. spin on it. Yeah. yeah. I suppose that's quite a topical thing nowadays. The internet stalking, internet dating, Facebook stalking, all of yeah. that. Would you say you guys are quite inspired by the film Catfish? At all? Yeah. I mean, it's certainly certainly referenced, and um, I was catfishing myself years mm. and years ago uh, online. So when I came and got involved, I sort of was like, oh, well, I can bring the other side of that there, having been someone who experienced it. Um, and of course, you know, I think it's now that you've got Catfish, the TV show as well, yes. where they go. That it seems to be something that's happening a lot because of the anonymity of the internet. People were using that as an excuse to sort of hide themselves. Hide a persona. Exactly, yeah. And um, I think a lot of people, I mean, even when it's not done for sort of nefarious means, I think people tend to create a, a particular version of themselves online because you can edit yeah. and because you can not mention things that you don't want to necessarily be known. Um, and it's very much, you see it in <laughs> chat rooms, you see it in forums, you see it in online dating and stuff. And it's an incredibly relevant topic. You guys are saying in a moment, and it's, it's quite an embarrassing thing I find that I didn't send me with my friends to talk about a internet dating, but to bring out the fact that you're lying about yourself. But so we right. really wanted to show it like from the sort of perpetrator's point yes. of view and how it can start from a very innocent like desire. So mm. like I I play the person who plays the stalker, um, and we were <laughs> hello nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm a stalker. I am a stalker. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like we really wanted to show that it's not just sort of these like evil people on their computers like yeah. trying to hide their their thing that most insecure about it. It's all it's a common phenomenon that actually a lot of us, like even if we don't go to the extent of stalking, mm. we we might try and try and delete ugly photos of us on Facebook or we might spend we ourselves. All do it, don't we? You know, we and, all create this yeah. persona on Facebook. Yeah, so we wanted exactly. to sort of come from an innocent <laughs> point of view and show how that then becomes it gets out of hand and can get manipulative. Yeah, it just sort of spirals into yeah. you and you sort of get locked in the lie essentially. Yeah. Mm. And the internet's a tool for that rather than the roots, because really we're looking at like the human behaviour and the human relationship. True. And the internet's just a tool for that. So we're not in any way like anti internet or anything like that. I love the internet. We love <laughs> the internet. It's a very useful tool, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Now remind us again where you guys are performing and uh, what time. Ooh, uh, at 8.20. 8.20. At the space at Jury's Inn. It's a real fringe venue. It's like on the eighth <laughs> floor of a hotel. Brilliant. Most people yeah. in the hotel don't even know there's a theatre there, but <laughs> we fly a lot of people in the lift. It's pretty grungy, I like really. it. It's really good. Well, thank you very much, guys, for speaking to us today and breaking it. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. This is Ross Jennings from Waffle TV, sponsored by West Pitt.